Hey guys, we're back with uh, another deck profile with our friend Josh here, just uh, going undefeated again, his second time uh, in the last week for uh, the new Rob Lucci. Uh, as you can see, he just uh, collected that new winter card. Let's crack it up and see what you got this time. Let's see what we get. Oh my god, it is the sure And now players worldwide are going to go wild for this one. There you go. The new winter cards are in stock, guys, so make sure you check your LGS. It should be arriving uh, very soon, at least in Canada. But let's go through this new Rob Lucci. The last deck profile, you had the old one, which was from what, OPO? From OPO3 to EVO1, including cards from across that spectrum. Sure, and now this is the brand new OPO7 Rob Lucci this Leader. This is the brand new OPO7 Rob Lucci Leader. And we're going to start with the most important card in the deck, the new Leader. Trash 2, give one of your opponent's characters minus one cost. When attacking, absolutely phenomenal. Chef's Kiss. Could not have asked for a better leader for this deck. Awesome. Brand new, brand new tech, brand new leader. Lucci is back. Let's uh, go ahead and go through your deck profile and we'll ask you some questions after that. Absolutely. So first up, we have four of our searchers fun. We know him from last time. Look at top three. Take a CP type card to your hand and trash the remaining two. Even more important than last time because it fills your trash and you care more about that wonderful card. Awesome. Next up, we have four of Eni's Lobby, one of the best stage cards in the game. Activate main, rest it, give a character minus two, trigger, you can play this card from your life. Absolutely wonderful. I've been seeing people cycle on top of it to get the extra minuses too, right? Exactly. So that's, that's a pretty cool tech. Minus it out, use it, replay in to get another minus, pretty crazy card. Exactly, it's like not even a completely dead card in hand, even if it isn't ideal. Next up, we have two of Helnepo, give a character minus three. Its importance will become more clear later in the profile. Awesome. Next up, we have two of Spondine. You may put three CP type characters from your trash to the bottom of your deck, then play a four or less CP type character rest. Wonderful okay. card for recursion. Definitely a good staple. Absolutely. And then next up, we have two Brook on play and when attacking, give an opponent's character minus one, then KO a zero or less character. Phenomenal combo. All right, just a two of though. Just a two of for both of these. I remember in your last deck profile, everything was pretty much a four of, so this is different for sure. It was. This deck is a little bit more toolbox. All right. And for both of these cards, we have Rebecca to play them from the trash. We are all familiar with Rebecca. Grab a black three to seven cost character, put it in your hand, then play a cost three or less black character from your hand. Almost always needs to. Awesome. Good cycle. Thank you. And then we have another star of the show, one of the best cards in the deck. Everybody knows what this guy does. Put three cards from your trash to the bottom of the deck, then KO a two cost and a one cost for his on play effect. Fair Wonderful enough. card. Wonderful removal. And then for a little bit more removal under the Cypher pull name, we have two of Kaku on play, but two Cypher pull type cards from the trash to the bottom of your deck, KO a three or less. Okay. Wonderful card. Sabo's back also. Then we have Sabo. I really, really like Sabo for the four of. Comes up a lot in the mirror, protects your entire board, and comes up constantly to fill your engine by drawing to it and then trashing to it. Wonderful card right there. That immunity KO effect is very powerful also, for sure. Absolutely. And then next up, we have our 2K counters. We are running four of Talifa. She is, I believe, the best 2K counter in the deck. On play, give a character minus two, draw two, and then trash two. So does everything your engine would need her to do, in addition to being a 2K. All right, fair enough. And then we have two of Kaku for a few more 2Ks under the CP type brand that can be picked up off of Spondum. On play, put two with the CP type to the bottom of the deck, give an opponent's character minus three. But, but even more so than Khalifa, he is a 2K. He often will not play. Okay, so more of a situational thing. Exactly, more situational. Fair enough. And then we have two of Subaru to round out our 2K collection. Everybody knows what she does. Give an opponent's character minus two. Navy staple, we love her. So we play two. And then we have the other best card to come out in this set, Tempest Kick, a better version of a banned card in some ways when it's online. Main, draw one card. If you have 10 or more cards in your trash, very easy to do with this leader ability. Spawn them. 
Sabo, and Khalifa give an opponent's character minus three. Trigger, KO a three or less, which comes up from time to time. Wonderful awesome. card. We play four Tempest Kicks. And then we have two Six King Pistols, also as events. This deck plays a lot of cards that have no counter, yep. especially in the high end. Great card for converting that into counter. Sure. And then we have the Big Bad Gecko Morio. Absolutely phenomenal card. Play a 4 cost and a 2 cost, one active and one rested. This is what Helnepo was for as I described earlier. The combo you can do is you can play Gecko Moria, Helnepo rested, Rebecca active. Rebecca will get back a Spondine, and then Spondine will get back a Rabuchi for a blocker for a full board out of nothing, including two pretty good cards, and then KO a 5 cost. Wonderful boss monster. Fair enough. All, Gecko's always been strong uh, since they came out, so... Absolutely, and then bringing up our high end, we have two of the Secret Rare Sabo. Trash a card from your hand, and then you can KO a 5 cost and a 3 cost. A bigger version of Rob Lucci yeah. for those bigger boards. Tremendous card. And then last up, we have 2k Isho. Excellent card on play. Make your opponent trash two random cards from their hand if they have six or more. Then Dawn times one, your turn. Give everything on the board minus three. That's wonderful insane. combo piece, wonderful card on his own. Very difficult to get rid of, too. Very sticky, these are. Awesome. So what are your strong matches that uh, are pretty much free? What are more even? And what is uh, the harder matchup for you? Strong matchups that are pretty much free. You curb stomp any rogue deck. You are extremely good into Corona. You are very strong into Anel. You are very good into Bonnie, although that can go in their direction if they get two or more Basil Hawkins on board. And I believe that you are very, very strong into Red, Purple, Trafalgar Law in OPO7 specifically. It is extremely easy for you to clear their board, and you will outpace them pretty quickly, especially if you can begin to establish. 9Ks like Moria and Sabo, where you show to rip cards out of your hand. Stage on field, Red Purple Law is a very easy one. There is exactly one singular bad matchup in this deck. Is it Black Yellow Luffy? It is Black Yellow Luffy. Right. Every other matchup, this version of the deck, I feel can defeat with, and when I say relative ease, everybody here is a good player, but I mean, this deck is fundamentally strong. It is fundamentally strong into everything that every other deck is trying to do, bar Bonnie's Basil Hawkins, which they will not always be able to see too. Black Yellow Luffy is a nightmare matchup. So you're a slight underdog or like guaranteed loss? Almost an auto loss. With this auto version loss. of the deck, it's an auto loss. I okay. do not tech into my bad matchup. Uh, you can do that. You could play the six cost Brook okay. to make it a little bit better, but I do not. It is an auto loss. Okay, so... Well, we'll have to see if you cook it up a little more for future regionals to see if you can counter it, because I do think Black Yellow Luffy is at least 20 to 25% of the meta and coming up. But uh, yeah, it's if, if Black Yellow Luffy is the only deck that's really hard for you, I guess uh, if your locals don't have any Black Yellow Luffy, that might be the key for victory here. Um, what's your... What's your perfect hand, or perfect opening? My perfect opening hand would be something along these lines. Spondum, Ennis Lobby, we would have a Gecko Moria, we would have a Khalifa for a 2k, and then we would have something along the lines of a Sabo. These three cards are more important. These two could be replaced. You could do something like this and like so as long as you get your, your stage, you're pretty much cooking, right? As long as you get your stage, and also as long as you see Spondum early to begin filling your trash. All right, fair enough. All right, that looks pretty solid. Was there, if you guys have any other questions for this Luchi Master, uh, let, let us know in the comments and we'll uh, expand more. But other than that, I think that's it for that deck profile. Is there anything else you want to say? It's great to be back with the Luchi gang. I look forward to seeing everybody again. Y'all have a great time. All right, take care. Thanks for showing and sharing your deck profile. We'll see you next time. Take Thank care. You. Bye.